with so many styles of harnesses out in the market it can get very overwhelming on which one to choose for your dog there's different colors different brands different styles different uses and in this video today I hope to bring you some clarity on some of the most popular harnesses what their purpose is and some tips on how to spot the good ones so you can make a good decision for your dog am I on the floor right now with my dog yes because that's the only way to get him on camera hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Carla and if you like dogs and learning new things, then I hope you stick around and like and subscribe so we can get it going. Disclaimer, I am not a licensed professional or dog trainer of any kind. So if you don't like these tips, then just take what you like and leave what you don't. And let's get to it. Starting with category number one, everyday harnesses. And what does everyday harnesses mean? A harness that can be reflective, a harness that is easy to put on, a harness that is comfortable for your dog and has a one click feature. Here's Echo. I'm trying to make an appearance. All right, let's get on with the video. Okay, now that I'm back at the desk and not on the floor with the dogs and everyone has made an appearance, let's take a look at some examples of everyday harnesses. So on the left, we have a simple strap harness. It is breezy with no extra fabric, perfect for any time of day. It is an easy one clip harness, which I love. I'm a really big fan of this. When you have three dogs, a one clip harness really is like a game changer. And this one in particular is one of my favorite designs due to the fact that there's no leg holes either. Therefore, it slips right over their head, goes around their belly, clips in, and you're done. Designs like these come in many different colors and reflective features, of course. So moving on, we have a very common harness used for smaller dogs. This is a very comfortable harness style for a lot of dogs, and it has a one-clip feature again, which I love. So this type of fabric with the little perforated holes really comes in handy, and it keeps your pup cool and comfortable. And Voyager also did add in two small reflective panels on the front. So, I mean, although it's, I wish they would have added it all around the trim, I guess something's better than nothing. So keep in mind that these are not the only colors, brands, and styles out in the market. These are just a couple of the most common that I see all the time and that I thought would be useful for this video. So following some of these tips, hopefully you'll be able to make some decisions and identify these harnesses no matter what brand or style they're coming in. So now let's move on to category number two, which would be the training harness. So in my own words, a training harness would be a harness that has some type of correction mechanism that can help you better communicate with your dog through the harness. This is a big category and I would like to say that it's probably in competition with the most common of the everyday harness, but I decided to put it as number two because people that buy these harnesses are usually buying them for a specific reason. And so let's take a look at some of the most popular training harnesses on the market and how to identify them if you're going to be getting a training harness. Starting with a very popular design from PetSafe, their Easy Walk harness features a very similar look and feel to the previous everyday harness we just spoke of with minimal straps and fabric. However, what makes this a training harness is the patented cinching mechanism at the front that applies gentle pressure on your dog's chest when he or she pulls on the leash. This is used to discourage the dog from pulling and more effectively communicate commands during a walk. The strap going across the front of the chest is also a good design to deter pulling. Also, it is very common to find that training harnesses feature a front leash attachment option and this is so that when your dog pulls forward, the leash pressure will redirect the dog to turn around or at least lose some balance. So this next design is very unique, but it applies some similar reasoning for the training feature that they offer. This concept is widely used by dog trainers all over the industry and is the concept of leash pressure or spatial pressure in a sense pressure is bad and your dog learns that concept and so releasing that pressure would be considered the desirable action with this design as the dog pulls the leash that runs through the harness will get tighter on all sides it is a minimal design like before and I think it would work best with smaller dogs that are more suited for top leash attachments due to their height there's this design which I feel like has been all over the internet in my opinion and I think it went like a little bit viral based on the fact that you can customize this type of harness very easily and so this is a much simpler 
style of training harness and I was very skeptical in even putting it in this category but I know that a lot of consumers do use this harness as a training harness and for some reason it has gotten really popular in the market. So let's go through it and see what we can find here. This harness doesn't technically have any kind of mechanism to correct your dog, however this style of harness has been widely used by consumers as I said as a no-pull harness due to the large strap in the front that goes across the chest and as previously stated I believe the smaller strap is more effective especially when the clip is at the front of the pressure. The one thing I do love about this harness is that it has great visibility with large reflective padding and works especially great with bully breeds, bulldogs, and other large and wide chested dogs. I also love the handle at the top which can be useful as a traffic handle. However, the large ring attachment at the top offers too much movement so I have seen with smaller skinnier dogs that that movement causes the whole back panel to move and kind of rub on your dog and it doesn't give you a snug fit so just keep that in mind lastly we have a third category which is the hiking slash adventure harness so what i consider a hiking slash adventure harness is a harness that can be secure that is going to work well in all types of weather whether you're going in a cold climate or in a warm climate and most of all that it's going to be functional for the type of adventuring that you're going to be doing so let's take a look at some examples so this is my favorite outdoor adventure harness from Chai's Choice. It features a very useful low profile handle that won't get stuck in branches and lets you be able to get your dog out of water. It also offers reflective trim around the entire harness which really comes in handy when you have a brown dog in the woods during the fall. That's happened to me before and I was very grateful to have a very bright neon harness. I also particularly love that it has two leash attachment options at the top or in the front which this also lets you put identification tags on the one that is not being used. Lastly, it holds up great to water or hot weather, which is particularly convenient for me because I live in Florida. The mesh padding stays wet pretty long, which can keep your dog cool during the summer, or if it's the colder months, it does stay dry and is pretty wicking as well. It also does not stretch or lose its shape when it's wet, so it's always a snug fit. Then of course we have tactical vests like this one from One Tigris that again feature similar things as the last one. The low profile handle, the multiple clips for security, breathable comfortable fabric, and multiple leash attachments. And what is unique about this one is that it has that bungee string going across the top that can hold smaller items like poop bags or other things. And these tactical vests can get really intense with all kinds of attachments and features like this one has here. And it all just depends on what you're doing with your dog, your weather conditions, and your training level. So those were some of the most common categories in dog harnesses listed out for you and some tips to help you identify them out when you are at the store or online. By the way, all of these harnesses are available at Chewy. That's the website I was using. So if you're interested in any of them, you can easily find them in the first or second page of Chewy if you just type in harnesses. I also would love it if you guys leave a comment below with your favorite harness and this can actually help other people looking for harnesses if you have a similar dog. So leave your dog type, leave the amount of weight your dog is and your favorite dog harness and hopefully if anybody else is looking for similar items for their dog and they have the same breed then hopefully it can help you out below in the comments. Lastly, I do want to thank you for supporting this channel and if you are looking for an everyday harness with a handle, with multiple leash attachments, with reflective padding, and a one clip feature, then definitely check out my merch. It will be linked down in the description below or you could go to beckdogs.com to check it out. We carry leashes, harnesses, collars, beds, and bandanas that are handmade by me and my mom, so check those out. Uh, we are on Shopify by going to beckdogs.com or on Etsy by searching beckdogs as one word. So if this was helpful, I highly appreciate you liking this video and subscribing so that you can hang out with me another day and learn new things and talk about dogs because, I mean, what is life without dogs? And with that said, have a good day, y'all. Peace.